It's a beautiful President's Day in Denver Metro. It's mid-February 2023. It is 56 degrees on the outside temperature, if that thing's reading correctly. It is a bit windy. I'm driving on US 36 heading to Boulder, but let's talk about the P0573 code I've been fighting on the 2002 Volvo P2 V70 2.4T. Um, this code first happened to me in February one year ago, early February 2022. Um, ended up installing a brake pedal position sensor from IPD. I did buy the in less expensive, um, or fairly inexpensive, I guess I should say, um, aftermarket replacement unit. Um, replaced that, still having code issues. It was actually telling me back then I had AV correlations. Uh, it was telling me uh, brake system failure, pull over safely. Um, ABS wasn't functioning at all. So um, ended up replacing the brake pedal sensor, which is interior on the cabin down at the brake pedal lever. Um, replaced that unit also from IPD with an aftermarket replacement. Still was having codes with the AB correlation. Ended up purchasing a uh, brake control module, ABS control module from, uh, it's a rebuilt unit by Expedex, but I purchased that through IPD. IPD. All the codes went away, everything was fine until July of this year, July of, excuse me, last year, 2022. Codes came back, P0573, brake pedal position sensor, driving me nuts. Cleared that thing out, came back 45 days later, September, cleared it out with this cheap hotel unit I got from Napa. I think it cost less than 25 bucks. Cleared it out, came back, came back in 30 days, came back in two weeks, came back in a day, came back in a day. Now it's at the point where it comes back, I clear it, it goes away. The triangle and the engine system service required go away on the dash, but they are still stored. I can't get them to go away. Um, last week, I took it to a friend's house who's a Volvo expert with his own Vita unit and a DICE connector. Ran some codes on the car, cleared most everything out except for three codes. BCM 0103, pedal position sensor, faulty signal. Um, ECM-9400, 9400, brake pedal sensor, signal too high. So it sounds like it's still not liking my aftermarket replacement. I'm going to call IPD this week. Again, today's a holiday. I'm not expecting it to be open. Call them up. We'll see. Maybe I'll just go ahead, bite the bullet, and get the Volvo unit. Um, but it's time. I ordered my own Vita unit. Uh, it comes with a Dell laptop. I believe it's going to run Windows 7 or maybe Windows 10. Um, I'm not getting the dice connector. I'm just gonna go with a mongoose cable, a little less expensive. I think I saved about a hundred bucks. And my understanding is, as is long as I'm not looking to do custom tuning of the engine and the control systems on the engine and how it operates, how it functions, performance tunes, that kind of stuff, I should be fine just using a mongoose cable. Supposedly, I can even purchase and upload some software updates from Volvo using just a mongoose cable. So we will see how that goes. Um, that will come next week, but today, running some errands, it's beautiful out, a little windy, driving to Boulder, best view in the entire world is coming up on the top of this hill right here outside of Bluesville. Looking at the beautiful view above Boulder on US 36 at the Overlook, I have loved this view since I was a kid, I moved here in 1980, I love this view, the University of Boulder campus, there's the Boulder Valley, oh, this never gets old, I wish you were on the drive with me. So in full disclosure today, um, I'm supposed to be heading to Costco to pick up a small run of groceries, mainly cream, half and half for the coffee this week. Um, but to cheer myself up from my never-ending P0573 error code on the Volvo V70, I drove into Boulder and I'm going up one of my favorite roads in the entire world, Flagstaff Road. Um, it's more fun on a bicycle to be honest, but just tooling up here. This thing is beautiful. I'm going to have to fix this uh, brake code and come back here with a GoPro and you can drive it with me. But just tooling along, 25 miles per hour, this thing's steep on a bicycle. This part right here, we, we're we still leaving the last house, kicks you in the butt. Um, I wish you could see what I'm seeing. This is absolutely stunning, just tooling along on a awesome President's Day holiday at 51 degrees in Boulder in the shade. What a beautiful day. All right, it's been over a month since I first started looking into this P0573 brake position sensor error code on the Prancing Moose. Uh, it hasn't been a priority, Only thing, everything works fine. I get a little caution light when I drive it every time I turn it on, um, but everything works fine. The only issue is cruise control doesn't work. And with a road trip coming up, I would really like to have some cruise control while I'm out on the open highways. So I'm um, going to start addressing this. I did, a little over two weeks ago, spoke to IPD. 
Um, I've replaced, I'd originally replaced a year ago, as I mentioned, the um, brake pedal position sensor that was replaced. It went and it was giving me the error code again. So we did a replacement with IPD. The code did not go away. So we spoke to them about the Vita codes, um, which I mentioned earlier. They'll be down below in the description as well if you're having the same issues. Um, they're recommending that I dive into the wiring that's between the brake pedal position sensor. So the, um, the connector for that, that uh, sensor. Um, and then as the wire goes to the, I'm trying to get this right, the um, ABS unit, the brake module unit, which is underneath. So I'll flip around and show you those. I do believe that last time I was in there, there were cracked plastic housings and stuff and I'd wrapped it in black electrical tape. So I'm hoping I get lucky. And when I open up all that electrical tape, I can find something that is shorting out or there's just a gap in the wires. We can fix this easily. Um, easy to identify. I'm hoping I get lucky and I have to go diving into all the electrical wiring. All right, I'm gonna take you inside here. Let's see if this will light up. So there's one of the sensors. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There it is, right there. You can see the electrical tape on it. That's where it's coming up. And then back down underneath, it's a little darker. There it is, right there. There she is. So that, see all the electrical tape? I'm hoping that when I open up all these electrical tapes, I can find that there's some wire that's just cracked a little bit. And I can patch that, wrap it in electrical tape, and get this thing to stop airing out. And get back my cruise control. Also, before I head on the road trip, I am going to replace the serpentine belt. It had a little crack in it when I had it off for the uh, power steering pump to come off with the thermostat replacement recently. And I just decided what the hell I'm taking it off. I'm going to change this um, tensioner as well. So we're going to try to do that before I leave. That should be pretty easy. Um, and then hopefully I have cruise control and all this is in and ready to go. So that gives you a little bit better angle with the uh, engine cr mount cross brace off. Um, you can see all the uh, electrical tape wrapping these wires. And I'm hoping the sensor, IPD believes the sensor is fine. They think it's somewhere in these wires. There is a short that's just causing a signal issue that it doesn't like, so it shuts off the cruise control. We shall find out. Let's hope I find something easy. Cut the, all the electrical tape off. Um, at least three or four different rounds of electric, electrical tape have been put on there. Uh, this segment doesn't even have the plastic protectors anymore. So I went to Napa real quick and caught an um, oh, it's a little half round or a half half tube. It's cut open just like these are. I don't even know if these are original or not. Um, but I do have a replacement of that, so I'm going to replace it, the covering of these couple ones because it's old and brittle where it's all broken. I'm hoping as I dive in here, I can find a wire that maybe just was unhappy or possibly the wire is going into the connector. This one's a little alarming at the bend that's on there, but from what I can tell on Google Photos, this is normal. Our XC70 is this way as well, and this actually goes right here on the top of the brake fluid reservoir. So. Um, Interesting how it's all bent around and locked in there with a the zip tie, but our XC70 is the exact same way, and that's how it looked on um, online. So we'll keep going. All right, Volvo brake position sensor P0573 is the OBD2 code. Um, I checked out all the wiring. I couldn't find anything that was loose in the connectors. I couldn't find anything that was cracked in the wiring where we could be getting a short in the wiring that I um, can actually get visual um, ID on. Um, I got to know when to say when. I, this is beyond my ability. I called Dynamic Imports in Longmont. They are available today. So I'm going to wrap this thing up. I am officially throwing in the pink old beach towel. Throwing in the towel. Mercy. I'm taking it to the pros. Before I take this up to Longmont for Dynamic Imports to look at it, they think it actually might be the brake control module, which was replaced as a rebuilt unit from XMUD X um, in February uh, uh, 13 months ago. Um, so they think it might be that from talking to them about the OBD2 code, the PO573 plus the um, two codes from Vita. They've seen it um, be it actually the rebuilt units. Um, I did put the wiring into these little plastic harnesses. I didn't tape it all shut because I know they want to look at it. Um, I need to get the tur or the cross brace back on here with uh, across the um, for the engine mount. But I did to make myself feel better. I did last night successfully replace my serpentine belt, the accessory drive belt, as well as the tensioner. Uh, with Volvo belt and Volvo um, tensioner. And I'm so glad I did this old unit. I mean, this car's got 238,000 miles on it. No history of this ever being replaced. Um, I'm not sure if it's a Volvo unit. I can kind of dig it out. It's pretty crudded up. It's been in there for a long time, but listen to this. So glad I replaced that. Runs forever, spins freely. There is no grease in that bearing. That thing is dead. Um. 
But I replaced it with a new unit that is absolutely silent and does not free spin like that. It'll spin like maybe one or two rotations and come to a stop because it is packed with grease. So it is good to go. We'll get up to Longmont, let the pros handle this brake sensor, and I hopefully have cruise control and working um, all the brake functions on my road trip coming up.